Hello everyone, this is Crota now giving you game number 5 in this best of 5 series between Tarantis and Goody. Game 5 taking place here on Red City LE. I don't know if that stands for Light Edition or what it stands for, but it is going to be Red City LE. Now, taking a look at the number of bases on this map and the sheer size of this map, I am quite confused. You, Each player can easily take up four bases. Surprisingly, there's that kind of like this no man's land through the front door of your base. Um, you could try and walk around it here or here as well, but there is also a number of high cliffs in position. And this game looks to be a very, very economic game because of the way your natural expansions are. Also, with the number of cliffs in play, siege tanks can go um, here, siege tanks can go here, and be fairly well protected as long as there are missile turrets nearby, making sure that no one has sight onto the high ground. If you have no sight onto those high ground, those siege tanks can just shell down below and destroy many uh, units before they get into play. However, with a lot of cliffs, it does open up a lot of play for airplay and also blink stalkers. Blink stalkers can get inside the base from this low ground into the high ground here, bypassing many of the many of the defenses that most Terran players and um, try and set up right here down at the low ground. SCV now on the move, going to be scouting in the counterclockwise direction. Meanwhile, uh, look, you can see that Tarantis is actually setting up his pylons in very different locations hoping to perhaps um, reveal a little bit of that fog of war now i often get asked questions about where i should place my pylon should i double them up or should i leave them single in order to gain a lot of sight and my answer is well it depends what you want to do as long as you do it for a reason both of those reasons are relatively are strong and have merit themselves so try not to follow an individual set rule and adjust accordingly and you should be fine let's take a look at this as the scv is wandering around the map here and the scv will end up passing by this probe the scv will find out that the probe is not from this top right hand side of the map as the probe and the SCV apparently deciding to lag my computer right there. What, you've never seen a probe and an SCV on the same map before? My goodness. Alright, Goody gonna come in here, spot that there is no Nexus, now make his way down. A Zealot already coming into the bottom left, you can see that there are two Marines, and two Marines only. So far, Goody has yet to build up a command center, which would normally go down here to be lifted off and landed. The map is so large that the prime, by the time this zealot gets inside the base, there should already be four marines there ready to greet him. That is going to be rather dangerous for that zealot. The zealot about to come up the ramp here. Is it going to spot anything? It does spot absolutely nothing and thinks to himself, hmm, perhaps there is... Um, something else going on, um, perhaps a uh, orbital command as the Marines are going to start doing a little bit of target practice. All right, target practice onto the Zealot. Zealot taking a little bit of damage down to 72 hit points. 62 as a couple of more shots do go off. So the Marines are now back up on the high ground. We are going into Hellions and it looks like we are going into a Hellion medevac drop. So far, though, we can see that Tarantis is also going for a number of gateways, and he is not going into any additional tech. No Twilight Council, no Robotics Facility, no Stargate. He is just going straight, straight gateway units and going to be pumping them out with that Warp Gate tech, which should be completing in just a matter of seconds. 10 more seconds to go here. 15 more seconds to go on the main buildings as the probe is perhaps oh he is going to hide a pylon in plain sight here hoping to perhaps get some backdoor action one poor zealot takes a lot of goss rifle damage is going to be backing off here but this is the problem goody does not know about this high ground pylon and if he ventures forth not expecting it, that is going to be a definite problem. The medevacs now are on their way out. You can see a handful of stalkers are already there. A backdoor pylon has already been set up. The probe going to head up the ramp. See that there are no marines. Get taken down. And now the stalkers and the zealots are going to simply try and engage. Oh, the medevac isn't going to turn around in time. No, it is not. As the stalkers are simply walking inside this base. 
So much damage to be had. SCV is now making their way over this proxy pylon on the high ground. Completely caught off guard. Meanwhile, Marines are coming down here and getting... No, none of them are... Or some of them are getting healed back up. Seven Marines now ready to go. They need to move together. But the focus is really down here. SCVs getting absolutely destroyed as Tarantis already up to 14 workers killed. And this little backdoor pylon action is exactly what you need to be very careful about. If you do not scout out where a pylon is, then you will never ever, um, you, you can never ever safely move out of your base. You can see back over here, a handful of SCVs are gonna get taken down. The stalkers should be able to catch up to them. And also a couple of Marines and Hellions back over here. So far, no command center, no extra base. Harvester count down to nine. And I believe Goody's chances are pretty much just down to zero. No economic way to get back into this game. Even if he does take down a handful of probes, he needs to take down 14 in order to make anything really happen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this final game here. Rather one-sided. Goody not scouting out, not realizing, not even having a front door to try and protect himself when moving out with those Marines. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this series.